All right, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is, is Grace Tutor, and what I do here is solve technical drive problems and also provide very important information that you can make yourself for you to have a better performance in your technical drawing as the examinations. And I want to tell you, as technical drawing student, that you should subscribe to this YouTube channel, put on notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified, and help me to share my video with your friends who are technical drawing students and do not forget to practice this subject this is a practical subject you need to practice it now now what i want to do now i want to show you how you can construct the frustum of an hexagonal pyramid the frustum of an hexagonal pyramid and for the frustum of an hexagonal pyramid we have uh, an hexagonal base and we also have an hexagonal top but the difference is that the uh, the size of the hexagonal top is lower than that of the size of the hexagonal base. So uh, what, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use uh, the length of side of the hexagonal base. I'm going to make it 25 millimeters and the length of side of the hexagonal top. I'm going to make that uh, 15 millimeters. Now I prepared this uh, diagram here. Uh, this is an hexagon, which is the base, which is the, the size of the base of the uh, hexagonal uh, frustum that you want to, uh, the frustum of hexagonal prime that you want to produce. But that of the top, I'm also going to draw it here in your presence. So uh, let's look at it. So whatever I do here is what I'm going to do here. The only thing is that the size are different. Now, I will take my compass to so take a measurement of 15 millimeters on my ruler like this and i put at this point i will draw a circle draw a circle like this okay so this circle that i've drawn so for this circle that i've drawn so the next thing i'm going to do here before that i will need to connect these lines together okay now for this circle that i've drawn so i will take my compass i take my compass and i put at this point yeah okay the lines are already there so this line from here to here will give me the length of side and from here to here give me the length of side but i'm going to label this so this is point a here so i'll call it so point a1 and this point i will call it point b1 so this is point c1 this is point d1 this is point e1 and this is point f1 Okay, to differentiate it from other ones. So next thing I'm going to do here is that I'm going to produce the hexagon by joining BF together like this. And I will also join DA together. Here I will join EF together. Then I will join C1, D1 together, I will join A1, E1 together, like this. And I will also join um, B1, C1 together like this. So this is it. Okay, so I believe this is clear. So this is for the top part. So, and then I'm going to draw a rectangle around this uh, hexagon. So here I'll just draw a horizontal line from here to here, like this. Then here also I'll draw a horizontal line from here to here on line V1, C1 and on line uh, F1, uh, E1. Then I'm going to draw a vertical line from through point B1. Through point B1, I will draw a vertical line like this. So these, have, they have not intersect, but they have not intersected, so they meet here. Okay, then I will also draw a vertical line through point A here, like this. Okay, so now this is a rectangle. So this is a rectangle. So let me call this, let me call this. Um, okay, let, let me, because of the label, I don't want it to be too much. So now we can go on and construct the uh, first tool. So what we need to do here first is that we need to construct an isometric uh, an isometric uh, uh, cuboid an isometric cuboid so what i mean is this so here i will draw a horizontal line here and then i will draw a line 
So I'll draw a line in this direction. I'll also draw a line in this direction. Okay, so for the base, for the base, look at what I'm going to do. So for the base, so I will take distance 3 to 4 on this part. Distance 3 to 4 here. Okay, taking this distance from here to here, I'll put at this point and I make an arc here. Okay, then I said this is a rectangle, it's not a square. So I will also take this distance from here to here. That is from 2 to 3 or from 3 to 2 like this. And I put at this point here and I make an arc here. So now I'm going to form an isometric rectangle here. So here I will transfer this to this side and I will also transfer this to this side like this. Okay, so with what I've done here, so the next thing I'm going to do is that, don't forget that what you want to do is that you want to draw the hexagonal base. So I will take, put my compass at point 3 here and extend to point A here. So I want to locate point, uh, let me write it here. So this is point 3. So this is point 3. This is point 2. This is point 1. And this is point 4 here. Alright, so by the time I take distance A3 like this, I put at point 3 and I make an arc here. So the same thing applies to point B. So I will also make an arc here like this. So then to locate point C, D, E, F. So I just take this distance. Or let me come and take it here. That is 3 E here. I will take this distance from here to here. So I will put at this point here. I will make an arc here. I will bring it here. Make an arc here. Put it here and make an arc. So I will also put it here and I will make an arc. Alright, so looking at what we have here, so this is point A here. So this is point A and this is point B. So this is point C. So this is point D. So this is point E and this is point F here. Okay, so uh, it's a little part, a little part of this hexagon is what we are going to see. We are not going to see all of it as you know that's a solid object, so part of it will be hidden from me. So I'm connecting, I've connected A and uh, and E together. So I will connect uh, D and A and D together, then I will connect E F together. Then uh, this line C D will be hidden from me. I can't see it. So I'm going to draw it with short dashes line as you see here. And also line B C will be hidden. I will draw it with short dashes line. Okay. Then line B F will also be hidden from me. So I will also draw it with short dashes line. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to locate the midpoint of this line so I just put my compass here put my compass here and I will take this distance from here to here so I put it here and this will give me the midpoint of this line this is the midpoint of this line already so all I need to do now is to transfer this to the other side so I transfer this to the other side and I also transfer this to the other side like this so what I want to do, okay, so what I want to do here is to get the midpoint, to get the midpoint, so this point of intersection, so I will use it to get, I will use it to draw a vertical line. So just look at the way I'm going to draw the top view, so I will, of the small uh, hexagon on the top of the hexagonal pyramid or the first of the hexagonal pyramid so i will draw a vertical line here so after drawing a vertical line here i'm going to take a measurement of 60 millimeters as the height of the from the center here so as the height of the uh first so this is 60 millimeters here so here i'm going to construct a square here so what i'm going to do is that i will draw a line just look at so that uh, you understand it so draw a line i will draw a line in this direction okay draw a line in this direction and i will also draw a line in this direction like this 
Okay, so I'm going to form an isometric rectangle for this small hexagon here. So don't make the mistake of using this, of mark marking uh, a line on this vertical line. You don't need it. So we we'll just use it to get the height of the of the uh, of the uh, flu stone. So here I will take a distance. Okay, so take a distance for this. Um, okay, so I'll put this here. So take this distance from here to here on this small rectangle. I will take this as like I bring three to this point. Now let me write it. So this is three, and this is point two. This is point one, and this is point four. Let's do it like that. So I will just take half of it from here to here. Take half of it. That is uh, three to three to. So I will take a distance three to a one here. Three to a one here. I will put at the center here. So don't forget that this is the line for it. So I will make an arc here, and I will make an arc here. And also, so for 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 this, so for this, I will take a distance from here to here, from here to here. That's from the center to this distance because this is half. From uh, this is from here to here is half of this, of two to three here in this small one. So I just take this from here to here. So from this center to this point. So I put it on this line and I make an arc here. Then I will make an arc. Mm, no, 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 no. This is. Oh, sorry. Um, this supposed to be here. The one I'm taking now supposed to be on this line. Supposed to be on this line. That means this one. Sorry, this one supposed to be here. Uh, supposed to be here. So I will take it and I will put it at this point. Make an arc here. And I make an arc here. Okay. So I believe you understand what I'm doing. So what we are going to do now is that. So I'm going to from this point. So I will draw a line from here to here like this, and I'm coming to this point. So coming to this point, I will draw a line from here to here. Okay, then I will draw a line from here. So from here to here. Okay, and I'll also draw draw from here to here. All right, so we have formed the rectangle at the top part here. So the next thing that I'm going to do. All right, sorry, what I did before was correct. So uh, I've cleaned it. Please, I'm sorry. So let's look at it. So I just need to take uh, a distance from here to here, from 30 to this point A here. So I put at the center here and I make an arc here. So make an arc here and I will also make an arc here. Okay. So after doing that, and I will take this distance from here to here, from here to here, I put at the center here and make an arc here. And I'll also make an arc here. Okay. So this is correct. So right now I will draw this line. I will draw a line through this point like this. And I will also draw a line. So through this point like this then here I will draw a line draw a line through this point okay so coming here I will also draw a line through this point like this okay now so if I number this so this is point three this is point three here this is point two this is point one and this is point four here so I believe you can see what I've done. So the next thing that we are going to do is that as what we have done before. So here now, I have point A here. I don't have to be looking for that. This is point A and here is point B here. I don't have to be looking for that. So I can call this B1. This is A1. So I need to locate point C, D, E, F, E, F. So I just take this distance from here to here like this. So putting at this point. So I put at this point and make an arc here. So put at point three here. I make an arc here. I put it here. I make an arc here. Make an arc here. So next thing I'm going to do is that I will connect. So 
but before that so this is point c1 this is point d1 this is point e1 and this is point f1 okay so now i will connect this together so this point So I connect this together like this. So I connect connect this together. Then I will connect this together. I will also connect this together. Then I will connect this together like this. Okay. So I've located the point. So the next thing I'm going to do is very simple. So all I need to do, I will connect A with A, D with D, E with E, F with F, C with C, and D with D, B with B. So this is what I mean. So I'm going to see this line here. So this line will be a thick line like this. This will be a thick line. And also this will be a thick line. Okay. So then this will also be a thick line. That is a A1 will be a thick line and D D1 will be a thick line like this. Okay, then okay, so you can see what I'm doing. So point C uh this line will be hidden, you can't see it, so I will draw it with short dashes line here. Okay, then point B also that will also be hidden so that will be hidden all right so that's it so this is the first one of uh hexagonal program it's as simple as i've shown it here all you need to do is to practice when you practice it you definitely master it. thank you for watching and thank you for listening god bless you